My name is Chris Penny and I'm a professor in the Department of Professional and Secondary Education. I'm Dr. Tanya Gatenby, Associate Professor in the Department of Health and Graduate Program Director in Healthcare Management. Based on our experiences teaching and developing online courses and this book, we wanted to share with faculty who are interested in teaching online courses some tips. You do not need to start from scratch when developing an online course. Take the materials you already have and adapt them to this new environment. You don't need to be a nerd tech to teach online. An interest in pedagogy should come first and technology second. Putting your classes online doesn't necessarily mean recording all your lectures. You adapt the course using the best tools available. Build a course orientation model and include an ungraded activity. This will get the students acclimated to D2L, their classmates, you, and the course in general. When you move your course online, you provide it with some opportunities to change your pedagogy to try some new things. The syllabus is very important. It's the roadmap to the course. If you want student participation in your online courses, you should make that explicit in the syllabus. You need not to participate in all online activities, but your supervision will encourage participation. In an online course, redundancy is better than eloquent succinctness. Use the resources we have available on campus. The Distance Education Office will help you to develop and teach a high-quality online course.